genuinely, I'm slightly overwhelmed now. Uh, there's so many. Hi, my little raindrops. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Desiree. It's nice to have you here. I should be reading stuff for a class, but I have an urge to clean up my bookshelf. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Okay, a little bit of context here. This is my university apartment. It is incredibly small. So this is, this is our bedroom. Me and my boyfriend live together in this incredibly small space that is hardly even big enough for one person, let alone two who own a lot of things. But I thankfully have one bookshelf and I also have a book cart over there. If you've been following me for a while, you will be familiar with the book cart. But anyways, this is the bookshelf I have, and I have accumulated a lot of books. Like, quite a few. I have books at the back, and I have books at the front, but I, I know I can make this more organized. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna try to get stuff together. I'm gonna try to clean the top off, because if I can fit some books on the top, I will. We're also gonna try to do this quickly, because I really do have stuff to do. We're just, we're just gonna get right into it. Why did I suddenly decide to cl Oh, there's my journal! <laughs> I've been wondering where my wellness journal went. And I could not, for the life of me, find it. But I don't know if I want to use this one or not. Because I've been wanting to get another one. We shall see, but I'm glad I found it. Anyways, why did I have the sudden urge to start doing this? It's a new year, which means it's a new me, obviously. No, I i don't really follow or believe in this saying of new year, new me, because I'm still me, right? Like, I haven't drastically changed. I am, rather I am changing things around me and I am changing the way that I do certain things but I am still me so it's more like new year new space that's that for me that's what it is new year new mindset new new environment that's primarily why I decided to clean up my bookshelf because I am I'm really the type of person that if my living space is cluttered my mindset is going to be cluttered. So if I can clean up my space, well then, you know, that helps a lot. So these are going to be front and center. They are the Lit Joy collection of the Folk of Air series, you know, the Cruel Prince uh, by Holly Black. My boyfriend got me these. He pre-ordered them uh, back in October and I finally got them. And they are the most beautiful things I have ever seen in my entire life. They will be the uh, pièce de résistance. Anywho. You know what's really horrible is that I own all of these books. Yet I still went to the bookstore yesterday to get more. And I have like five packages coming in sometime this week of books. So, living my best life. I have a bunch of manga. I might put the manga at the top of the shelf, I don't know. I will definitely need a cloth. I also want to go buy some more storage to organize my tabs because I kind of have too many just like in this little basket. It's, it's, not, it's not organized enough. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, there are some books in here that are books I've already read. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take those and try to move them into the cart. Uh, just for the sake of like, only having books I haven't read in here. Okay. Let me go grab a cloth and some cleaning stuff. I just really like things to be clean. While I'm up here, might as well be gonna keep on moving on. 
I've read this one, I've read this one. These are graphic novels. We're gonna keep them with the manga. Okay. I'm running out of space. Now, this, this little thing here, most of these are uh, books that I had to read for university. I don't know, I also have, I also have a music album. <laughs> These are books. I wish I'd gone to the campus bookstore in time to resell these, but I didn't. Unfortunately. The Norton Shakespeare cost me a literal organ. Well, no, that's a little bit drastic. Like a hundred, wasn't it a hundred and something? I, I can't recall. It was expensive and I've only used it once for one class and I'm graduating next year. So, you know, that's fun. I don't know where I'm gonna put these textbook books. I also realized that we put this like on the wrong side. It should have been that way, which does slightly trigger me. <laughs> you know. I can't do much about it now. I'll figure this out once we get there. For now, I just need to get them out of the way. Is all. Around here. We're gonna move to the floor. Um, I... I unfortunately forgot... Oh my god. I forgot my tripod back at home. So now I'm just stuck... Inventing tripods with books. Because I I will probably end up buying another tripod, honestly. I have so many books. What the heck is all of this? I'm uh, okay. I don't know where to put them. Do I just, I'll put them on. Okay. Put them on the floor for now. Now, there are a lot of books in here that I have already read. I have not read this one. Um, oh. Why do I have that stuck in my head? I don't know. I'm genuinely, I'm slightly overwhelmed now. How am I gonna make this work? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm, I'm act, now that I'm, now that I'm seeing all of this, it's just very concerning. You can't even see me taking the book, so. Into the bookshelf you go now. Oh my god. I'm, I'm really questioning my, myself, my, my everything, my sanity, my, I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying anymore, uh, there's so many, I should have brought some of these back home, oh my god, I'm genuinely concerned, I, okay, what we're gonna do now, I will attempt to, Put some of the books I've already read in my cart. I don't have a lot of space left though, so I don't know how that's gonna go. But um we're just gonna try. I need to put like this, okay. I'm just gonna clean this up. So dusty. Alright, we got this. <laughs> Alrighty, 
Now, now what do I do? So, tripod right now. So, so far this is what we've got on the first shelf. Yes, the hard covers at the back, at the bottom will be hard to reach, but you know what? It's, I, I don't mind having to take out the books to reach the hard covers in this case, because this is the only storage I have. So I have to make the best of it and stacking my books like this is how I'm gonna do it. So we're gonna move on to the next one. We're gonna see how this moves on. hardbacks at the bottom that's a receipt we're stacking up on top i'm trying to do like mostly fantasy or dystopian or you know those kinds of books This is where we are now. It's looking good. You can't 
you can't really see the books at the back all that well but that's totally fine again it's not a priority nor is it really important to me that i see what's at the back for now this is what's gonna work space for books oh boy uh oh so that's both a good and bad thing uh, let me see here Well, not all. There are some that I've already read, but a majority of these books are books that I have not read yet. Yikes. We're gonna put these in the book cart. I still have Christmas presents for my friends that I need to get to them. So unbelievably fussy when it comes to like stacking my books because they need to be like well aligned. Since I don't really value these old textbooks, I'm gonna put them on the very last shelf just because if there's dust on them, I'm not gonna be mad about it. So many books that I did not read, the camera's crooked. I guess we're gonna do that like that. And, oh wait. And I did just get new books today. I got this, but I want to wait until I get all of my other books. And uh, I want to film a book haul for my YouTube channel. So I'm just going to pop these randomly somewhere here. There we go. I did it it's it's finished let's do a little browse through so at the top here we primarily have all of my romance that is mostly what is behind here as well although there are some fantasy hardcovers at the back but that is fine then we move on to here and most of these they're all like series and then at the back we have more like fantasy, um, magical realism, that type of stuff. My beauties here. And then down here are books that I have already read. Uh, I just put them at the back here. And then I have my tabs, which I will be going to get um, new storage for that. And then down here, we've got some manga at the back and graphic novels. And this is kind of just like my miscellaneous shelf. Uh, this is mostly like fiction 
literary fiction, uh, Japanese literature, nonfiction, self-help, you know, those types of books. And then at the bottom here <laughs> are all of my university textbooks, books that I had to read. And then I will stack up the books that I get uh, delivered so that I can record a new video once everything is here. And this is just, these are double copies that I got. I'm going to need to sell them or give them, I don't know. And then just some bins for storage. So that was fun. Um, I've got to do a little bit of cleanup. I need to ship this. This is a gift for a friend in the state. My hair? Okay, so that's what I've been looking like this whole time. Ow. That was fun. I am really thirsty. I should have brought my water with me. I'm also very hungry, so I'm going to hurry up and go make some lunch because it's 12.36 and I have class at 2 o'clock, so I want to take care of that. But I am so happy that I cleaned up my bookshelf because now it, it looks so clean. It looks so put together. It's just... I don't know, this makes me very happy. Yes, I still have my Christmas tree, don't come at me. I'm a little lazy, I don't feel like putting it away, so that's just that. And then there's also the book cart, as we are very familiar with. Anyways, there will be some new books that I will have to fit in the shelf once they're all here. And of course, as the semester advances, I will be going to chapters a couple times. You guys know me by now, and if you're new to the channel, you can expect me to go to the bookstore very often. I might not always vlog it on my YouTube channel, but I do post on Instagram and TikTok very often. So if you don't follow me on there, the links are in the description. But I'm really glad. I feel, I don't know, I feel refreshed that it's all put together. I'm going to take a picture and I'm going to post this on my story. Feels great to have cleaned up and I want to share it with the world. Uh, but I'm really happy. I hope, I, I know that I didn't really talk that much, but I, I personally love watching people reorganize their bookshelves, so I hope that it was somewhat entertaining, and uh, I will probably end up reorganizing my bookshelves sometime in the near future. You can expect in my moving vlog, because I will be vlogging my entire moving process when I move in May. Uh, I'll be like building my office in my reading space, so obviously there will be some bookshelf organization in there. I know it's a couple months until then, but that's something to look forward to because I sure am looking forward to it. Okay, I will let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was it's a pretty random video, but still, I hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to join the little raindrop family, make sure to subscribe to the channel and click the little notification bell if you want to be notified when I post new content. I try to post a new video every single Monday unless something happens that I'm not able to post every Monday. I usually am, but anywho, I will let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.